Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, let us discuss about bacterial growth curve. And this bacterial growth curve uh, will begins with the division of the cell, bacterial cell. And that bacterial cell will get divided by asexual reproduction and that process is called cell division. And this phenomena of division of the cell is called as uh, binary fission. And you know about the binary fission, right? There are two types of binary fission called longitudinal binary fission as well as a transverse binary fission and that longitudinal as well as a transverse binary fission I already explained in my previous videos the link will be given in the description box for example uh, I'm, I'm not going to explain you here briefly about this binary fission and but I'm going to give you a small uh, you know small trick here if you see here this is your bacterial cell and this bacterial cell will undergo either binary either longitudinal binary fission or else either transverse binary fission depends upon the type of the bacteria for example if you see euglena and paramecium like this it, there will be many different kinds of bacteria which exhibits different kind of binary fission and if you see that video then you will understand here properly so this if you take this as a bacterial cell and this undergoes longitudinal binary fission or as transverse binary fission depends upon the bacteria and forms the daughter individuals here right and the daughter individuals which has been formed here are similar to that of uh, you know the characteristics which it exhibits is similar to that of mother because these are genetically identical but there will be no mutation the mutation doesn't occur in this phenomenon of the binary fission right that's what i have written here mutation is nothing but changes you cannot see any changes uh, in the characteristics or the physiological characteristics or as the uh, you know the thing which it behaves all of this will be similar to that of its mother but there will be no changes which you can see in this phenomenon of the binary fission so there will be no mutations you can see here and next exponential growth that's nothing but normally if you see here the bacterial cell will get divided rapidly so uh, exponential growth is nothing but you can understand this exponential growth in log phase i will explain you that phases there will be four phases i will explain you it later so the here this exponential growth can be seen in the bacterial cell when it undergoes binary fusion and this phenomenon of the binary fusion you can see in the with the help of electron microscope only in the presence of electron microscope and normally how the phenomena takes place i'm going to see i'm going to explain you now normally the bacteria will be present in the harmful substances you know like dangerous substances right and that bacteria will be extracted out and that dangerous substances or harmful substances are called as old medium and from that old medium the bacteria will be extracted out and that bacteria will get transferred into the new medium new medium is nothing but sterilized medium which you will examine under the presence of the microscope and here uh, the incubation process takes place in such a way that the bacterial uh, you know the division of the bacteria as well as the phenomena of this binary fission takes place in that incubation process itself so finally you have to understand here that the bacteria from the old medium will get extracted out and get transferred into the new medium which is called a sterilized medium okay and this phenomena of the binary fission in such a way that the bacterial growth bacterial growth is nothing but finally you know the mother cell will get divided to form daughter individuals and these daughter individuals will get mature in such a way that it has capacity to produce in such a way that this becomes mother individual and this daughter individual which becomes a mother individual which has capacity to produce another daughter individuals so this phenomena is typical bacterial growth and this phenomena of the bacterial growth can be explained by four different phases they are lag phase log phase stationary phase as well as the death phase so let us learn each of the step by step process so coming to the lag phase i have written here it this lag phase in this lag phase the bacterial cell will get mature and there will be no division process you can see there because uh, normally mature is nothing but normally there will for example if you see here the fresh individual which has been formed will enter into the lag phase and here this will become mature that's nothing but mature is nothing but they become increase in its size when it increases in its size then it becomes mature in such a way that it attains the sexuality when it attains the sexuality then what happens it will have capacity to produce it's another daughter individuals there's nothing but that individual become mother individual and that mother individual has a capacity to produce daughter individuals that is nothing but maturity maturity is nothing but to attain sexuality in simple words to say and there will be no division process you can see in the lag phase there will be no division that that's nothing but the cell will grow much and much and more in size but there will be no division you can see in this lag phase and in this lag phase synthesis of rna enzymes and other molecules takes place in this lag phase and the, normally the time lapse of this lag phase is one hour or else it may also take several days which depends upon the type of the bacteria which you will induce in this uh, sterilized medium it depends upon the type of the bacteria which you induce okay and normally uh, if you take bacteria from the old culture medium then the duration will be long 
and if you take bacteria from the different culture then the duration you know the time duration is very short that in the of this lag phase i am saying about in the lag phase okay and normally increase in the size i have said you the maturity is nothing but it gets increases in size and attains its sexuality right and attains its sexuality and at the end of the lag phase it gets increase in its size only but the cell will not get divided that's only the thing which you have to remember in this lag phase so when this uh, when the when the say when the size of the cell gets increased till the end of the lag phase then what happens is that then this bacterial cell will enter into the log phase so now let us discuss about the log phase this log phase is also called as exponential phase why it is called as exponential phase because the rapid cell division process takes place because in this lag phase what happens increase in the size that's nothing but the size of the bacterial cell will get rapidly increase and here rapid division of the cell takes place because there is no other choice for the cell because after the maturity immediately the cell will undergoes binary fission to get divided into its daughter individuals right and that daughter individuals will be formed and that daughter individuals which has been formed will be rapid so that rapid is nothing but exponential you know very fast i mean very high in a very high manner hence this bacterial division and the number of bacterial cells will get increases very exponentially because rapid cell division process takes place right so the number of the bacterial cell will also increases exponentially means rapidly means uh, you know highly due to this rapid cell division the cells are very short because the cells will be newly formed right from the rapid division only the mother individual will get undergoes rapid cell division and forms its daughter individuals we know that the daughter individuals are very small in size right though so due to the rapid cell division the cells are very short the formed cells or as the daughter individual cells are very short and here the bacterial population is also uniform and this uh, how you can say this because of the uh, which depends upon the, its metabolic activities chemical composition as well as the physiological characteristics and here the generation time of this lag phase depends upon the growth factor which is present in that medium which is present in that sterilized medium and normally in according to the recent research it was came to know that this generation time is very much short when you compare in any type of the bacteria but uh, in our books uh, we have, in our books we got to know that this generation time depends upon the type of bacteria which has been introduced but according to the research research it was came to know that this generation time is very less if you if you insert any type of the bacteria this generation time will be very less in this log phase so when the cell will get rapidly divided then it forms its daughter individuals right after this rapid division then this log phase will get completed so this rapid cell division process completed then it enters into the stationary phase third phase so if you see in this stationary phase this stationary phase you can also name it as a stable phase according to my according to mine this is also called as stable phase why it is called as stable phase because i am going to explain you here there will be no increase in the bacterial population because bacterial population has already increased in the log phase right due to cell division process it has been already increased in the second phase that's nothing but log phase so there will be no increase in the bacterial population because that cells which has been formed it doesn't attains maturity so to to attain its maturity it should continue the lag phase but here it enters into the stationary phase so the, here the bacterial population will not get divided and here the stability is maintained how the stability is maintained because the cell division doesn't take place and the cell death will also doesn't take place you know that cells which has been uh, which has been formed that mother cells sorry the daughter cells will be in stable you know that it doesn't undergo cell division or else it doesn't undergo uh, apoptosis i mean cell death also you know and next this stationary phase will be induced by the increase in the bacterial cell density as well as the depletion of nutrition in the medium and accumulation of the toxic waste that's nothing but the reason of this uh, you know the reason of the stability is due to this increase in the bacterial cell density you know the density has been increased because it already undergoes daughter individuals uh, it already forms the daughter individuals it doesn't has capacity to form any other daughter individuals so the bacterial cell density will get increase and here the depletion of the nutrition in the media that's nothing but the nutrition media will also be decreased and the accumulation of the toxic waste toxic waste are nothing but secondary metabolites like that and next in this the one of the most important thing which you have to remember in this stationary phase is that in this stationary phase the bacterial cell will produce penicillin streptomycin as well as the some and some of the enzymes which has been used uh, by other bacteria okay normally you know that some of the bacteria will uh, some you know some of the bacteria will produce spores on its body and the production of spores or as the development of spores is known as sporulation and this phenomenon also takes place in this stationary phase also right 
and come into this death phase. So after the stabilization process, this stationary phase, the bacteria which is present in this stable phase or as the stationary phase will enter into the fourth phase known as death phase. So what happens in this death phase is that it is also called as decline phase because uh, the, the decline is nothing but decrease. Okay, and normally the number of bacteria cells will get decreased. So why it gets decreased because of the cell death. The cell which has been uh, which has been come out from the stationary phase will enter into the death phase and here in the death phase what happens is that after the aging process of that cell the bacteria will lead to death so when it leads to death then what happens immediately the count of the bacteria or as the number of the bacteria bacterial cells will get decreased so here this is called as exponential death rapid death rapid cell division is nothing but the log phase and the rapid death phase is nothing but the here death phase and this is the inverse of the log phase right so what i have said you in the log phase so what I have said in the log phase, it is that the rapid division takes place in this log phase. Uh, whereas if you see here in the death phase, rapid death of the, the bacterial cell takes place in this death phase. So it is the inverse of the log phase. It is quite reverse of the log phase. And what is the reason behind this death phase? What is the reason behind the death of the cell, bacterial cell? Depletion of the nutrition, decrease in the nutrition or as the tag, toxic wastes as well as the environment temperature. Whether if the environment temperature is high, the bacteria may lead to death. If the temperature, environmental temperature is very low, then also the bacteria will lead to death. So here environmental temperature should be stable. When the environmental temperature is stable, then only the bacteria can survive. Of course, not all the bacteria will die at the same rate. Some of the bacteria will die very fastly or else some of the bacteria will die very low. You know, when the bacteria will say, when the bacterial, uh, you know, the death of the bacteria is very low, then it attains the long period, a long period of, you know, survival. So here, spore forming bacteria are the best example for the long survival bacteria, you know, and this is about the death phase. So proper definition of this bacterial growth curve can be given as if the bacterial population is measured periodically and the log of the number viable bacteria is plotted in a graph against the time it gives a characteristic growth curve called bacterial growth curve which is also called as growth cycle so now let us let us see the graph how the graph will be represented by this bacterial growth curve which is based upon this lag phase log phase stationary phase as well as the death phase so here if you see the growth curve will be represented in this way and this shape is called as hyperbola shape and if you see here this is the graph how it should be represented in the x axis you have to mention the time and the y axis you have to mention the number of cells which has been represented over there i mean which has been introduced into that sterilized medium or as a new medium so it, it, these are this is the lag phase so what i have said you in the lag phase uh, the only in increase in the number of cells takes place so you have to draw it in the straight line so what i have said you in the log phase rapid cell division process so when the rapid cell division process takes place then you have to draw the uh, you have to increase the you have to increase the plotting of the graph so I have, so that's only the reason i have increased the straight line and next it enters into the stationary phase stationary phase is nothing but it's a stable phase so i have so i have drawn the line in a stable way like this you know in a straight line and in the death phase what happens in the death phase what happens is that the rapid uh, cell division quantity will get decreased because of the cell death process so you have to you have to decrease the line i mean you have to decrease the phase of the line like this so in this way the hyperbola graph will be plotted so this is about the bacterial growth curve and the notes of this topic will be given in my whatsapp group and the invite link of that whatsapp group will be given in the description box so people who are interested you can you can whatsapp me so that i will give you notes so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box or else you can also ask in that whatsapp also thank you